Thank you so much, Anthony. We'll get more information to you as we receive it. In a Target 8 investigation tonight, parents in Johannesburg are upset with one man for taking pictures of their children, but it's all legal. KOMU 8's Addison Walton is here to tell us how this could happen anywhere in Missouri. Thanks, Jim. We first began looking into this story nearly a month ago. Residents told us the same man was taking pictures of children without parents' permission, but police couldn't do anything about it. A ripped American flag flies outside Mike Hutcherson's front yard. The house is not a welcoming sign to either Jonesburg citizens or anyone passing through. And inside the house, someone Randa Harlan has tangled with before. The kids were outside playing in the front yard. Whenever I came out, he turned back around and came back up taking pictures. And my boyfriend chased him up the road and he ran off in the post office and called the cops. Even after the incident, Harlan wonders why it's legal for Hutcherson to do what he does. You have to sign consent for your child or your family member to have their picture taken. So why is it legal for a man, you know, who you've told you don't want taking pictures of your kids to just repeatedly come by your house and do it? It's not only Harlan. Many other residents say they've had issues with Hutcherson. Lisa Stern owns Go and Postal, a shipping and packaging store in Warrington. More than a year ago, Hutcherson took photos of Stern as she was entering and leaving the Jonesburg post office. He then took the photos to Stern's store to be developed. That's when Stern took action and got a restraining order against Hutcherson. He is a menace to many, many people. I just happened to be one that was able to make sure that he can't come around me or my family anymore. Then the case got even stranger. After the restraining order, Stern's name and business ended up in an unusual place stuck on a plywood sign leaning against the tree outside Hutcherson's house. According to those in Jonesburg, the sign entitled Cover Up is a list of those people who have upset Hutcherson. The population about 765. Most Jonesburg residents say they don't feel as safe as they did 15 years ago. Many of them cannot leave their doors unlocked and have to close their blinds early at night for fear Hutcherson might be taking pictures of them and their family. Angela Staub's house is less than a mile from Hutcherson's home. She says she's had multiple issues with him. We used to have a swimming pool in our backyard, and my little sister and my daughter, you know, they would be out here in their swimsuits or whatever, nothing revealing, and they would just, or they would come in, you know, after swimming, change, walk, you know, from, my dad just lives across the street, and he would stop them, where do you guys go swimming at? Don't you live around here? And my daughter's like, we're not supposed to talk to you. And he was like, well, I know you live around here. Where's your swimming pool at? Yet Hutcherson's actions aren't the only thing worrying stop. But now everybody's scared they're going to get in trouble with the law because some guy is taking pictures of our kids and we can't even protect our kids. That's not fair. The controversy around Hutcherson's alleged actions have sent many to the police, but there is nothing the local police can do. I tell them that, that it's no different than the, the, the stands in the checkout line where you've got tabloids where you know paparazzi's taking pictures of of uh, stars in public view the the paparazzi always is in public right away the only difference is he's not the paparazzi and they're not the stars he's on public right away they're in public view but Sinclair does have a promise for concerned Jonesburg citizens there's nothing we can do uh, unfortunately until there's a law broken and then you know, we'll take proper action. For now, Sinclair hopes the community can work together and be calm about the situation. What does concern me about the whole situation is the threats of violence. It's not the, it's not the answer. Um, I understand. I'm not going to sit here and, and lie to you and tell you I don't understand where people are coming from. I do. But it is not the answer. And coming from the law enforcement point of view, it cannot be the option. And I made multiple attempts to talk to Mike Hutcherson about all this. He doesn't have a phone number listed, and I couldn't get him to answer the door at his house.